everyone, our today's workout is called Ping Pong Pilates. My friend Nancy Castiglioni is doing the workout in Panama and I'm doing it in Mumbai. And we're going to have a ball that we're going to pass around. So she's going to do a couple of exercises and then she's going to pass me the ball. And as soon as I get the ball, I'll do my bit of exercises. When I'm done, I pass the ball back to her. And she does the exercises. So I hope you guys are ready for a fun ping pong workout with Nancy and me. I think it sounds wonderful. Really exciting. I hope everybody joins in. Sounds great. I think uh, we're just going to go back and forth a little bit, just having fun and moving and being challenged. Um, I believe that I will start and then I'll pass the, my imaginary ball over to you. There you go. Excellent. Well, let's all stand at the end of our mat, facing our mat. I'm just going to face the screen so that you guys can see me. Yes, so ping pong pilates starting now. I'm going to start warming us up and you should be standing at the end of your mat, facing your mat, but I will be uh, facing the screen so you can see me. Let's just do some shoulder rolls. So what we want to do is inhale, bring our shoulders up like a big shrug, like I don't care, and then let them roll back. So a whole breath per shoulder roll here. Let's do six all together. That was number two. And four more. And now I'm going to face my mat. And three more, yes. We lift up our shoulders and let them roll back. Just warming up our shoulder girdle because we're going to need a lot of stability in our shoulders. This is our last one. Beautiful. Bring your shoulders nice and down and relax. Let's inhale tall and do some standing roll down. So we'll bring our chin to our chest and we'll roll into ourselves, letting our torso go down towards the floor. Our head is nice and heavy and our arms are nice and heavy. Feel free to bend your knees as you need to go all the way down. Inhale when you get to the bottom and exhale, roll back up. Rebuilding your spine one vertebra at a time. Exhaling all well, the, the air out. The last thing to float above your shoulders will be your head. Let's do that That's one more time, yes. Yeah, we inhale tall and bring chin to chest and exhale all the air out as we roll down. Inhale at the bottom, lift up through your pelvic floor. This is for you, Sean Marshall and rebuild your spine one vertebra at a time. Floating your head above your shoulders last. Yes, I'm going to change it on this next one. We'll do some hamstring stretches at the bottom. So one more time, we inhale tall. We bring chin to chest and roll our torso down. When we get to the bottom, bend your knees as much as you need to to place the palms of your hands on the mat. And then exhale, straighten your knees. Inhale, bend them. And exhale, straighten them. Your head is nice and heavy. Let's do that four more times. This is four. Feeling a stretch in the back of your legs. This is three. Make sure your head is nice and heavy. No tension in your neck. Let's do one more, yes. We inhale to bend the knees and we exhale to straighten them. Take a moment to maybe bend your knees just a little bit. Inhale and then exhale, lift up through your pelvic floor to rebuild your spine one vertebra at a time. Bring your shoulders back, lift up your head and let it float above your shoulders. I think we're almost ready to go down now and do some push-ups. So why don't we do that, Yes, We'll circle the arms up towards the ceiling. Do a roll down as we did before, but now we're going to walk forward into a plank. So we'll do three or four steps with our hands and find our beautiful, long, strong plank. Bring your knees down if you prefer, and we do one push-up, just one. Inhale down, exhale back up, go back to your plank, and walk back, and roll up, lift up your arms as you roll up, open up your chest towards the ceiling, and stretch, find that beautiful extension. Let's do it again. This time we're going to do two push-ups. So we roll down, we walk forwards into a plank, 
Find our beautiful strong plank. Bring your knees down if you want. And we do two push-ups with triceps. So the elbows point way back. One more push-up. Lift up your knees into that plank. And we walk back. And roll on up. Arms go towards the ceiling. And we open up our chest. Open up our shoulders and find that beautiful extension. How about we do three push-ups now? Yes, what do you think? I love it, let's go. Let's do it, let's be challenged. We walk forwards. Find our beautiful long plank. Find the stability in your shoulder girdle. Knees down if you need. And remember guys, if you wanna go on your knees. Yeah, so I'm showing it with my knees down. I'm doing three push-ups now. One more. Find the plank again before you walk back. And roll on up. Remember, we will find that beautiful extension as we lift up. Yes, yes, beautiful. So just one more. This time we'll do four push-ups. And then I'll pass my imaginary ball on to you. So let's do last one here. We find our plank. We bring our knees down as an option, elbows back and we push up one. Remember, you inhale as you go down and exhale to push up. One more. Find your plank and walk back. Let's do that last beautiful extension. Open up our shoulders and chest. I'm going to bring my arms back down towards my hips. And I'm passing my imaginary ball to you, yes. Awesome. Right. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Let's let's add on, guys. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, roll yourself down. Imagine you're going down over a big beach ball to the floor. Walk out in four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold that plank, your wrist under your shoulders. Your body's in a straight line from your head to your heel. From there, bend one knee without changing anything to touch the floor and come back up. Bend the other knee and come back up. Bend the right and up. And left and up. Right and up. Left. One more on each side. Make sure nothing else is changing. Pull your abs in, squeeze your glutes, hold it here this time. Bend both your knees without changing anything and extend. And bend it again and extend. And inhale as you bend, exhale as you extend. Keep your shoulders nice and strong. Two more reps, inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Woo. I'm going to apply just to release those shoulders. <laughs> Come back into your plank. Hold that straight line from your head to your heels. Abs pulled in, glutes squeeze. We're going to do a mountain climber. Bring one knee in and take it back. And the other knee. And back six more. Six. Back. Five. Keep squeezing those glutes. Four. Three. Two more. Don't give up. Keep those shoulders strong. And the last one. Get your knees down and go and do a child's pose. Stretch out those shoulders, they need it. That felt amazing. And sit yourself up. Are you ready for the ball, Nancy? Yes, I Here am. Here you go, catch my ball. <laughs> Got it, thank you. Let's go ahead and kneel. If this is uncomfortable for anybody's knees, remember that you can roll the mat and make it a little bit nicer, more cushiony base for your knees. So we keep our hips open. Imagine you're in a plank position, right? So you're not going to extend your back at all. Bring your arms forward as if you're holding on to something. And let's just bring our whole body back in a plank. Again, you're not arching, you're not flexing. We're going to do thigh stretch and go back forward as if the wind is taking us back. We're going in one long plank back and forward. Let's do that four more times. Three more. And keep squeezing the knees together if you can. Yes. 
Well, I feel those inner the thighs. energy through my inner thighs into my pelvic floor, of course. I will do two. Maybe that was a little one extra. And one more. Come back and hold it. <laughs> beautiful. We're going to do a beautiful heart opening stretch. So the arm that's closest to the screen, circle it around and bring it towards your heel. The other arm goes towards the ceiling and we look up. This one's for you, Zaina, and come back to center. We'll try the other way, Yasmin. So we circle the arm, we'll bring the hand towards the heel and we'll open up, look towards the ceiling and come back. We'll do that one and more time. And pushing your pelvis forward as you're opening uh, it up. Absolutely. So you're pushing the pelvis forward. The whole body is going forward and you're looking up and you're stretching the whole front of your body and strengthening the back. Let's do one more. We're opening up, bringing your pubic bone forwards, opening up your hips. Beautiful for those head flexors. We've all been sitting so long, so that feels really wonderful. And you know what? I'm passing it back to you, yes. There you go. Got it. Excellent. Okay, let's come into all fours, everyone. Your hands directly under your shoulders, your knees directly under your hips. We're going to do some good old cat and cow. Look at your pelvis, round your back towards the ceiling. Push your tailbone out, come into neutral and go into extension. Sticking out your butt and then round. Take your tailbone down to the floor and pull your abdominals in, deep, deep flexion. Push your tailbone out, come into neutral and extend. Imagine you have a light on your chest that you want to shine to the front. Now come back to neutral. We're going to add a little bit something. Curl your toes. Lift up, up, lift your knees off. Come into an all fours hover. From there, continue your cat and curl. Round, look at your pelvis. Don't let your knees lift up. Come back to neutral and go into extension, shining that chest out to the front. And look at your pelvis, pull up, pull in your abs, deep contraction. And come back to neutral to go into extension. Two more times. Come back to neutral. Take your tailbone towards the floor. Belly button towards the ceiling. Come back to neutral. Push your tailbone out. Open your chest. And the last one. Keep holding it there. Woo! Make sure that your knees are not going up. Come back to neutral. <laughs> and go into extension. Come to neutral. Place your knees down. We're not done, Nancy. You're still I'm not getting the now. <laughs> Extend your leg. Extend the leg that's closest to the camera, to the phone. Hold it there. Make sure you have a strong support of your hands on the floor. From there, without shifting your weight, lift that leg up to lower it down. Keep your knees straight. Lift it up to lower it down. Four more times. Lift. To low, keep pulling your abs in. Lift, look at the front edge of your mind. And lift, three more. Down, two. Last one, hold it up on this one. From here, windshield wiper. Take it across and take it out. Imagine you're sliding your leg on a table behind you. So don't let it dip towards the floor. Keep the same no, don't, height. Don't, don't, don't. Four more on each side, four. Three, two, keep your knees straight. And last one, come to the center. Bend that knee, flex your foot. Lift it up to the ceiling. One, and two, keep your hands strong. Three, both elbows are straight. Four, divide your weight evenly. Five, last one, hold it up. Straighten that leg. Bring the knee to chest as you... Contract your spine and then go up straight. And knee to chest, chest to knee. And extend four more. Four. And extend. Three. And extend. Two more. Two. And extend. And this is the last one. Woo. And extend. From there, watch what I do. 
place this foot down. Take your hand and come to a side stretch. And the ball's back to you, Nancy. Thank you. Got it. So here, I want you to imagine you have a glass panel in front and one in the back. And you want to press your hips against that front panel. So I don't want that bottom hip to be back. Really open it out. And let's go ahead and stretch first, yeah? So we bring the arm over and we think about energy in both directions. Out of the foot in one direction, out of the hand in the other, and out of the crown of the head. Really beautiful stretch. And now we bring the arm straight towards the leg and the leg towards the arm and we open up. So bring the arm and leg together and open. We bring it all together and open. Can you still hear me? Hello, hello? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, good. Good. I was just, I lost the connection for a second, but I think I'm back. We lost you for a I'm moment, back. but you're back. Yes, I thought so. So let's do a couple more. So we bring the arm and the leg together. Now, the hips are really nice and open, and then you stretch and think of opposition. Hand and arm going opposite direction. This is the last one, and let's stretch once more. Bring your hand behind the head. Again, make sure that you're pressed against that glass Ooh. panel in front of you. I know it's a lot. Let's lift up the leg. Now the elbow and the knee will come together. We'll have to flex the spine. So we'll bring it together. And then like peekaboo, we open up and open up the hip. Let's do that five more times. We close up, knee and elbow together. And For we those of you who don't know Nancy, up. this is her favorite move. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to do, you guys. You are getting so strong here. Let's do two more. And open up. Again, energy out of the crown of your head and out of your foot in opposite direction. This is the last one. Bring the foot down and stretch one more time. Gorgeous. Now push yourself up so that you are kneeling, but your torso is up. And you know what, yes, here's my ball. I'm passing it to you. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. I threw it a little hard, I so think. So we're going to take the hands. Right. We're going to take the hands up. And we're going to go over to the side and come back up. And remember the two pins. You're moving between the pins. Go down and both arms up. Imagine you're holding a big ball in your hand, so you don't want your hands to change the distance between them. And come up, and go down, and come up, and three more. Let's go down, and come up, and this is the last one. We're going to go down, 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 and come up. From there, we're going to give this leg a break, bring it behind us, get your hands in front, and from there, we're going to take one leg forward, take the other leg forward, take the same leg back, take the other leg back, go back into a thigh stretch, Come back up, same leg, two, two, down, you can have your hands here, flatten your feet, actually let's sit on our heels and come back up and let's go one, two, it's a little tougher when your hands are crossed in front, down, I'll try it. bend and come back up and front because it doesn't give you that support of your arms You're and right. momentum, down, down, sit on your heels, guess what, we have two more, and up, up, stay in the squat, down, down, sit on your heels, and come up, last one on this side, remember we have two sides of our body, down, <laughs> down, sit on your heels, and let's change legs, up, up, oh, down. I was on to I was on to the side ah. already. Oh, is that <laughs> you tricked right? me. <laughs> up, up, down, down. Let's sit down. 
and come up. And three, <laughs> three, down Panama to Mumbai. Yes, all down, over the world together. Up. Three more left. Up, down, down, sit, open your hips and up, up, down, down, sit. Last one, Nancy, down. Yes, up, we got it. We can do down, it. Down, sit, and come up. Yeah, we're not done. Let's extend this leg over here. And we're going to go side bend. One, and up, and two, and up, and three. And one thing I notice a lot is people really like to lift up their shoulders here. So maybe make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, right? If you're doing this with us at home. Up, last one, and up. And Nancy, are you ready for the ball? Here you go. Thank you. So we, we are here. Let's go back into our kneeling side. So we will, first of all, Find our beautiful stretch. Remember, you have energy out of your foot in one direction, out of your hand and crown of the head in the opposite. And you open up those hips. Now we bring the leg and the arm together. And we open out. So again, we are against that glass panel. We'll do four more. And your both sides of your hips are against that side panel. Let's do two more, yes. Look forward and smile because it feels better when you're smiling. One more. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. And stretch it out. Hand behind your head. Press your head against that hand a little bit to really find a beautiful long neck. Lift up the leg. Now, knee and elbow go together. We'll have to flex our spine to do so. Imagine playing peekaboo and then opening up to reveal yourself. Let's do five more. So close it and open out. We do four. Inhale here and exhale to open up and press against that glass panel. Two more. Open up those hips when you do the peekaboo. Here, open up. We do one more. Woo! Bring the leg down and let's stretch it out one more time. Nice, beautiful, long. Let's switch over so that we have both hands underneath our shoulders and we go into all fours. But before we do that, I'm going to grab my ball and yes, are you ready? I'm passing it back to you. I'm ready. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Missed it, but caught it again. Thank you. That's awesome. Let's go. So we walked. <laughs> so I hope everyone is facing the opposite direction because otherwise you'll be working the same leg guys and that's what we don't want so extend the leg that's towards the phone or the camera straight back make sure you have equal weight in both your hands don't shift your hips as you lift that leg to lower and lift to lower and three keep pulling your abs in and four to lower and five, keep that knee straight. Last one, hold it up. And we're gonna do windshield wipers. So side to side, and two, and side, and three, and side. Don't let your shoulders move. Both elbows are straight. Two more. And this is the last one. Hold it back, bend that knee, flex the foot. Imagine you want to touch your heel to the ceiling and lift and lower and two and lower. Equal weight in both your hands and lower. Three more. Pull your abs in and five. Last one. Six. Hold it there. Extend that leg. Get your knee to chest, chest to knee and extend and two and extend. And three to extend. And four to extend. Two more. Five. Equal weight in both hands. Both elbows straight. This is the last one. Extend. Place that 
lay down, go into a child's pose and stretch out your shoulders. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. And when you're ready, sit up. I'm passing the ball to Nancy. Nancy are you ready? I'm catching it. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, go. <laughs> Excellent. So let's go ahead and sit now. And we're going to now work on those beautiful abs. So let's lay down. Yes, yeah, so we just articulate our spine down to, you can hold on to the backs of your legs. We're going to lay down all the way. Place your hands, one palm on top of the other, behind the base of your skull, like making a nice pillow for your head. Bring your knees to tabletop or a little bit closer to your chest, that's totally okay. The elbows are nice and open, shoulders away from the ears, we'll inhale to prepare, and as we exhale, we'll come up by pressing down our ribs towards the mat, belly button in, we're looking through our thighs. Let's bring the right knee in and extend Extend the left leg out, like single leg stretch, but I'm going to change it here, yes. So that right leg, extend it as if you're creating a scissor, okay. two straight legs. Now we'll change legs. The right leg will stay straight. The left bends into the chest, kind of like a bicycle. And we extend the left now, and we change. So we do these big, big bicycles, open out, and change. Don't let your chest fall. Press those ribs in and find that energy out of that bottom leg as well. And extend. Let's do two more with each leg. So we bring one in and straighten it out. Lift up your shoulders out of the mat. Just one more with each leg. These are killer. So single leg stretch into single straight leg stretch. Last one. Bring both knees to the chest. Hug knees to the chest and rest for a moment. Ooh. Could you feel that? Yes. Hi, I love the sequence of yours, Nancy. Oh, that's awesome. It's my favorite. We will try the same thing, but with crisscross. So we oh, will be yeah. working our obliques, our waistline. Let's place the hands behind the head one more time. Shoulders away from the ears. Let's lift up. Head, neck, and shoulders. Look through your thighs. Forward, never at the ceiling. Let's go towards the screen first. We'll bend that knee that's closest to the screen and we'll rotate from the waist up. Look to your back elbow. Open up your elbows and now straighten that leg and let's change to the other side. Exhale all the air out here. Look to the back elbow and straighten the leg and change. And straighten and change, yes. Should we do one more with each leg? So we do six all together. Rotate and stretch. Yes. One more, rotate and stretch. Come back to center. Hold on to both knees, bring them to the chest and rest. Maybe rock side to side. Those should have Ooh. been. Woohoo, yes. <laughs> if you know, you're not sweating, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. Let's try another variation that's really fun. Bring both <laughs> legs up to the ceiling. Again, we'll place our hands, one palm on top of the other, behind the base of, your, of our skull, and we'll lift up. Shoulders are out of the mat. I'm looking through my thighs. Now, let's do scissors. So we bring the right leg into the chest. The left leg is extended out. And we'll just switch legs, just like that, stretch. Um, stretch and, and straight. Switch, and let's switch one more time. Now hold for a second, yes, and let's helicopter around. That means I'm circling the legs to change position. And we scissor. We do one change and one more. Hold and helicopter around. So we circle the legs to change which one's closer to the chest. Let's do one more time each way. Scissor and scissor and go around the big helicopter. This is the last one, yes. We'll do one scissor and scissor and oh. big helicopter around. Yes, killer. And whoo, hug your knees into the chest and rest. Whoa. So if you want abs on fire, 
this is the way to do it. Let's, this is the last one. Let's bring the both legs up to the ceiling. I want a slight external rotation. That means your heels are together and your toes are apart. Oh my God, I know which this one is going to be. <laughs> this, uh, if the other ones were killer, well, this is also killer. So let's lift up head, neck, and shoulders. Shoulders away from the ears. I want you to feel your glutes and your hamstrings. So maybe even bend the knees just a tiny bit. Now with energy, pressing heels together, we'll lower our legs. One, two, three, and we go up in one turn, exhaling. We'll lower down. Make sure your lower back is pressed against the mat. Lower one, two, three, and lift up just one more. Yes, and only go as low as you feel comfortable keeping your lower back on the mat. And lift up. Now I, I reverse it. We lower in one and lift in three. So we lower in one time and lift one, two, three. Two more like that. We lower in one time and lift up three, two, three. One last time, lower in one. My abs are burning, what about you? And hold on to your knees and rest. I don't have abs anymore. <laughs> I think everybody will remember me if they're laughing this, this weekend, which I hope they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you want to that. <laughs> so yes, I have my imaginary ball here. Are you ready, ready to catch to it? The ball. It's going, there you go. I'm ready, throw it out. Got it, you got it? Yes. Oops, got it. Excellent. <laughs> okay, everybody, we are going to add on to those abs to make sure that you take away from our ping pong at least the best abs ever. So we're going to lie down, take our legs straight up, hands out by your sides. From there, we're going to roll over. So using your abdominals, keeping your legs straight, you're going to take your legs behind you till they're parallel to the floor. And from there, you're going to come back, rolling your spine and coming up into a teaser. From there, hands down, legs go behind you. Roll over, your legs are parallel to the floor, keeping your knees straight. Use your abs, don't go onto your neck. Make sure that you keep your weight onto your shoulders and come up into a teaser. Going back using your abs to go back. Legs are parallel to the floor behind you. And using your abs, get your spine down one vertebra at a time. Come up into a teaser. What do you say? Now <laughs> see. I will show a variation. If this is too hard, you guys can always keep your knees bent. And come back. The and best. hold on to the back. And you know, legs. I always save the best for last. So the best is after this. And two more. So this is an option. People can hold on. Now you can always come back and hold your legs. And then the last one, you go back. Knees are straight. And if you want, you can bend your knees slightly and come back into a teaser hold this position for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And bend your knees. Yes, Nancy, I love that teaser with your hands behind. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do rolling like a ball, everyone. So make sure that your legs are in a, in, a, in a V, like a diamond. Your hands are holding each other, one on top of the other. Press your hands into your legs, your legs into your hands. Balance yourself between your tailbone and your sit bones. Pull your abs in, look at your pelvis. And from there, you're going to roll back onto your shoulders. Don't let your head touch the floor. Keep looking at your pelvis. So you're going to go roll back. You're going to come up and come to standing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Waiting for all of you. Come up, come to standing. <laughs> okay, let's start again, Nancy. I, 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 I got lost, like sorry. <laughs> rolling like a ball to standing up. <laughs> you were only rolling. I thought I was rolling and rolling. <laughs> okay, let's go roll back, not onto your shoulder, or not onto your head, and come up. I got it now. <laughs> and then come back. Come back, roll back. Your legs are crossed, and come up. <laughs> Keep your legs crossed. Oh. We're going to add on after the third one. Sit back with your legs crossed, which is what Nancy loves. And roll back. 
Come up with your legs crossed and jump. <laughs> and jump. And let's go down and let's pick up the pace. We're going to do six of these and jump. Our cameras are slow. And let's go. Two. No, I got, I got oh, carried one. away. <laughs> and jump. For your ball. There you go, catch it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I hope I hope everyone's got their heart rate. But that felt amazing, <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. I always Maybe like we should to get cool the heart down. Rate what do you think? I yeah, think we have sure. worked out our whole body. Let's go ahead and stand. Looking at the screen, our feet are parallel, all the toes pointing forward, and we want to breathe here. Stand up nice yeah. and tall. Let's go ahead and do some shoulder rolls. So we bring our shoulders up, a big I don't care, and then let them roll back. One whole breath per circle. We use our shoulders a lot, so we want to make sure they're nice and stretched. We'll do three more. Make the, the, the shoulder rolls a little bigger now, if that feels good. Opening up your chest, opening up those shoulders. Just one more. That felt so good. Let's bring one arm up. I'm opening up my stance a little bit more to have a more stable basis. So I'm going to go back so you can see me better. One arm up, the other arm towards your, towards your knee. Let's stretch sideways, yes. So we'll go, like we had, remember that glass panel that we had before? Let's slide on that glass panel and come back up. Let's do that twice more the same side. So keep your arm next to your ear and stretch sideways. Let the other arm stretch down and come back up and feel that beautiful stretch on your side body. One more. Beautiful stretch and back up. And we change arms and sides. Keep the arm pressed next to your ear, but your shoulder is down. We'll go stretching now the other side. So your whole side body stretching energy out of your fingers and out of your toes in opposition. Two more. Stretch. Open up your fingers so you really feel the stretch also in your hands and your fingers and up. One more time, yes. We'll just stretch. Remember that wall. We're sliding against oh, that wall so you're not letting your torso let rotate. Yeah, it feels so good, right? Oh, it feels so good. Place your hands on your waist, oh, yes. and let's do some beautiful hip um, circles. So imagine you're inside a big barrel or a big hula hoop, and touch all of the insides of that hula hoop or that barrel. So you want a whole breath per circle here, and we'll do three each way. Really bringing your hips forward and then taking them back. So I always say this is like the Shakira hips don't lie thing. Really get those hips moving change directions we'll do three the other way so we go back around nice big circles these are not little they're really big they're your biggest maximum range of motion one more and they should feel really good excellent we pause for a second we bring our legs together and we'll do the same but with our upper body okay we'll accompany with our arms so a big circle going into arching or extension and then going forwards and rounding our back going back around so we'll do three one way and three the other one more time so just big circles around with your torso pause for a second when you finish the third and let's go in the opposite direction one big breath per circle Keep your knees slightly bent. Don't keep them locked at all. And back to center. Roll through your <coughs> spine to lift up. And you know what? Yes, let's stand in a second position external rotation. And we'll take three 
very big breaths, opening up our chest when we bring our arms up and then releasing our knees and letting our torso go down and exhaling all the air. We wanna renew all the air in our lungs. Think about inhaling positive and exhaling all the bad out, okay? Should we try? Yes, so let's go. We inhale up and look up towards the ceiling. Open up your chest and exhale all the air out as you bring your torso down. Head is nice and relaxed. Let's do it twice more. So we inhale up and exhale. Let every single drop of air out. On the last one, let's renew the air out of our lungs even more. Inhaling thinking about all the positive things and exhaling all the bad out. Let's lift through the center of our body. The head will be the last thing to float above your shoulders. Give your shoulders one roll back now and yes. Thank you so much. That was amazing. I love playing ping pong pilates with you. I think we are worked out for today. Thank you. I had so much fun playing ping pong with you, Nancy. Same from here. Thank you. And I hope that all, all the people who participated enjoyed playing ping pong with us. And guys, thank you all so much for joining us. Stay home, stay safe, always stay positive.